We are here with Janie, our bride, and uh, we're doing a portrait in front of an old wood door with a lot of texture to it. So we've already lit the door with some pretty hard light to give it some cross light, a lot of texture. Um, and then we're gonna light Janie with several different modifiers. So our first modifier today is a snoot. And that's gonna give us the smallest light source we can get. It really creates a very directional and very spotlight on her. Um, we've got it over to the, to the right side of her and up nice and high so that it looks like maybe moonlight is coming down or, or something like that. And it's gonna give us a very, very dramatic shot. You ready, Janie? I like that, beautiful. Okay, now look down a little bit and now up high, up high. There you go, that's it right there. Nice, perfect, awesome. So now let's modify that from that hard light source, so you can see is very dramatic and has, a, has a, a, a real hard direction to it, creates some pretty hard shadows, um, but it looks really interesting and, and, and sculpts her body quite nicely. Let's change it to a softer light source, um, but with still some direction to it. So we're going to now add a two by three OCF or off-camera softbox with a grid on it. And the grid's gonna help keep the light focused in on our bride without spilling onto the background and ruining our really cool light that we've done to that door. And that's gonna give us a directional light but still a nice soft light as opposed to the hard light that we just had. Give me a little bit more hip on that. There, nice, good, that's it. Beautiful. Let Raise that chin a bit, good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to take the grid off and we're gonna show you what happens when we remove the grid and we allow the softbox to spread its light all over. And it's gonna be a very different shot. There you go, good, nice. So when we compare the two softbox shots, you can see that the image with the grid allows the background to be nice and dramatic. But as soon as we pull that grid off, it's, the light spills all over that background and, and it becomes more distracting, it's too bright. We don't get to focus as much on our bride. So I, I much prefer the gridded softbox because it allows me to control the light on my subject completely independently from the light on the background. Now, if you compare the gridded softbox to the snoot, those are two equally beautiful shots one is extremely dramatic and the other one has a nice soft light to it, but our background in both of them looks fantastic. So those are a few things to think about when you're considering whether you're gonna use hard light or soft light, or whether you're gonna use directional light or not. Play with them, have fun with it. They all make great images, but they are vastly different in the way they look.